Hello business owners, Marlon Brown here. And today uh, we are gonna go over some of the things that you can do to become a helpful uh, resource. So if you're building a business, you wanna be that person that everyone thinks about when they think about whatever the topic is that you cover in your business. So whatever your niche is or whatever your uh, topic area is, you wanna be known for that. You want people to think of you, you want to be top of mind. So you don't want people to have to go out if they are having a problem with something that you cover, you don't want them to go to Google and do a search for an answer. You want them to think of you and go straight to your website. So it's really important for you to build a brand that really helps to solidify whatever it is that you want to be known for. So one of the best ways to do that is to become that helpful resource. And this is also a way for you to sell without selling. So if you've been following me, you know that I've been talking recently about how to sell without selling, how to be that uh, go-to person without being spammy or pushy or someone who's always talking about their products. The thing that you wanna do is you wanna provide information that helps your audience achieve their goals. So whatever the goals are that your business wants to be known for, um, you wanna basically create content around that so that you know you become that go-to person, right? So let's go ahead, we're gonna use Canva today to give you some ideas of things that you can create. Now these can be things that you sell, these can be things that you use as a lead magnet, you can give them away as free resources. You can make them part of a course. There's so many different things that you can do when you're being that helpful uh, resource. So let's take a look at some of the things that we can um, select. So if you have a Canva account, go ahead and log into your account and you're gonna see a page that looks like this. So I've already typed in the word guide. So we're gonna take a look at the guides that are available. So if you're not familiar with Canva, Canva has so many templates that you can use to get started with whatever project you need to do. So instead of starting from scratch or having to come up with you know, ideas and sit there and rack your brain about what you're gonna do, you can come to Canva and get lots of great ideas. So this is going to show you some guides some templates for guides that Canva already has available. So we have a service and pricing guide. There's a guide to wellness, um, a five-step process. Let's see, um, a guide to building a business. And when you hover over these, and let's see, this one is 15 pages. So when you hover over this template, it's gonna show you what the template looks like. You'll be able to, if you like it, you can put, you can, you know, make it one of your favorites by clicking on this star. It's going to tell you whether it's available in the free account or whether you have to have a pro account in order to use it right here. So if you see this crown, that means it's only available to pro users. It's going to give you the number of pages right over in here. And so you'll be able to kind of just look at these and tell if you have the free account you'll be able to see which ones you can use. And if you have the pro account, you can access pretty much any of these. So here are some customer scripts. Now scripts are also um, very useful. So let's say that you have some chat GPT scripts that you have used. They're really, in chat GPT, they're called prompts, but you can um, put those scripts in a document, like a guide, and you can give those to your um, ideal customers as well. If these uh, prompts have worked for you, then that's a shortcut that you can provide to your audience. Um, customer conversation. So let's say that maybe you need some icebreakers for a um, an online party or a Q&A. Maybe you wanna come up with um, question and answer, um, handouts, or something that you can give people when they show up for your live so that you don't have to 
maybe answer some of your most frequently asked questions. You can just have this document available. And then when you go on your live, you can do your live and maybe answer a few questions at the end and have people to refer to your handout for any of the basic questions. Um, that's something that you could do. Here is the ultimate business guide. So when you hover over this, let's see, looks like this is just a cover. So this is just one page. When you hover over this one, um, this is 12 pages. So these guides really give you a lot of um, ideas that you can use to introduce your business to a new audience or even people who have been, um, you know, observing you for a while, but maybe don't know a lot about you. This is a welcome packet. So this has um, 11 pages and it's, it's a pro template, but you can use this. So anyway, just wanted to give you an idea of some of the things that you can do with the guides that are already available on Canva. Now you can think about whatever your niche is. You can even go out to chat GPT and get some ideas. So you could put in a prompt in chat GPT that says, you know, I need, um, let's say that you want to get 10, you want to make 10 guides. So I need 10 ideas of uh, three page guides that I can use to help my um, audience in, and then you fill in the blank with your niche. So whatever your niche is, you just fill in the blank and you just tell chat GPT to give you 10 ideas. So then you can take those ideas and you can even uh, narrow them down even more in chat GPT and then just come up with your guides and the things that you can do to become that helpful resource for your audience. So I've already done a guide that I'm going to share with you. Now the guide that I came up with, um, let's see what template, if I can find the template that I used. I will, um, I'll make it available to you. So I'm not seeing the template that I used and maybe they've already refreshed these and come up with some additional templates. And um, if I refresh my page, maybe that one will come back. But the one that I used was pretty basic. Um, yep, it's not, it's not showing here. So let's see, I'm gonna refresh my page and see if it comes up. And if it does, I will definitely make this available to anyone that wants to use it. So no, it's not coming up. That's really interesting. So what I can do is I can take my uh, template. I think I might still have the base template that I used. Um, yeah, it's actually not coming up. That is so weird. So let's see if I can, because I started out with a gift guide. So let's see if I put in a gift guide. Let's see if that makes it come up. Okay, well, so mine is not coming up, but here are some gift guides. Oh, here it is right here. Okay, so this is the template that I used. So I'm going to pull that up real quick. And it's called the Holiday Gift Guide Instagram Story. So what I did was I took this gift guide template and I modified it. So let me just show you really quickly. And I will, um, let's see if I can get the link for this. I may just have to um, get the link for it and just make it into a template and I'll make this available on my website. So I'll just go out and get the, um, let's see if I can make this into a template. Gee whiz, nothing that I'm um, interested in is showing up here, which is really weird. Okay, template, template, template link. Okay. So I will take this template link and make it available to you on, uh, on my website. So I will, let me just create a new notepad and I'm just going to paste that right there. And this is the, um, holiday gift guide template. 
Okay, so I'll make that available on uh, my website. Now I'm going to go back to my home page and I'm going to show you exactly what I did. So you saw the first, um, you saw how the template looked when I downloaded it. This is what I came up with. So for my particular audience, I want to help my audience um, take their ideas and turn them into an online business. So that transformation needs to happen. And in order for that to happen, um, a lot of times I get questions about what are some of the best um, pieces of equipment that I can use if I want to start an online business. So this is an equipment guide that I put together and I kind of made it into the size of a journal. So it's going to be an eight and a half by 11 size, um, eight and a half by 11 inch size document. And um, here are some of the uh, pieces of equipment that I recommend. And as you can see, it's only really three pieces of equipment, a cell phone, a laptop or a desktop and a, a computer mouse. And those are the things that you really need. Some people are able to get started with their online business just using a cell phone. They can, um, and it really, when you have a cell phone, um, you can do so many things to establish your brand just using your cell phone. But when it comes to creating content, especially when it comes to designing and creating um, like written content, it's really hard to do that on a cell phone. Um, a lot of people have made a way though, they have used their creativity and learned how to use their cell phone to create all of their content. Other people use things like their tablet. So there are some people who just don't use a laptop or a desktop, but in my opinion, it makes it a lot easier when you have a, um, a laptop or a, a device that has a bigger screen. So that way, and when you have a mouse that you can use to point and click and select and move things around and you can actually see what you are working with. But these are the three must have pieces of equipment. Now there's also nice to have equipment. And then there are also tools of the trade. So tools of the trade are gonna be unique to your business. So if you're in a certain niche, there may be things that you use to create your, um, your products that you might wanna recommend to your audience. So maybe you're in, for example, the health and wellness niche is pretty popular and maybe you've niched down. Let's say that you are in the weight loss space under the big umbrella of health and wellness, right? So maybe you are helping people reach their weight loss goals and maybe there are specific uh, products or pieces of equipment, you know, exercise equipment or weights or maybe you have a specific diet plan and maybe you've come up with um, a recipe book or a recipe substitution guide or something that you can offer to your audience that will help them reach their weight loss goals. Whatever those things are, um, you can actually create a guide like this that will enable people to, number one, they're gonna be able to download this and you can make this into a freebie, you can make it into an ebook, you can make it part of a course, you know, and I talked about that before, where you have so many different options that you can use for your guides and for your resources that you provide to your audience. The other thing that you wanna keep in mind when you're providing a guide to your audience, you wanna make sure that you have um, your guides in different formats. So for example, uh, let's go back to uh, the homepage. So, um, and I'm actually, yeah, okay. So you might wanna create an ebook. So let's say that you have um, equipment, just like me. Maybe you wanna do something it shows the equipment that you use in your particular business. So you might want to create an ebook about, you know, the ins and outs of those pieces of equipment, those insider tips that people need to know when they're going out and they're trying to make a buying decision, what do they really need to look for? So for example, if you're into weight loss and you want to recommend uh, maybe some weights, some free weights, that people can use to get a certain result, then you wanna let people know what kind of free weights 
would work better? Would it be the barbells? Would it be um, the exercise band? You know, um, would it be just not using any weight at all and just using, you know, their body weight? Um, and then they're also, would they get lightweight or would they start out, you know, with some of the heavier weights if they wanted a particular uh, result? And then what kinds of things do people need to keep in mind when they're, you know, trying to change their diet and make healthier choices? Maybe there's a guide that you could use to help people make those kinds of decisions. So like for me, I got to the point where I wanted to reduce the amount of salt that I was eating in my diet. So what are some of the things somebody like me might want to do to, um, you know, reduce the salt intake um, so that I can still have food that tastes good, but I don't have as much of the salt flavor that can do things like drive up my blood pressure and things like that. So you have to come up with the things that are going to appeal to your audience. And um, you kind of have to have a feel for who your audience is, what they're looking for, uh, the kinds of problems they're trying to solve, what problems your business can solve for them. So if you have solutions that will help people solve their issues, then you can um, put all those resources together and put them together in a guide. Now in Canva, there are lots of um, formats you can use to do that. So let's say that maybe you have an audience of people who love to read. So here are some ebook templates and you can do the same thing with these ebook templates that you do with the other types of documents. You just kind of hover over these um, pages and um, they will let you kind of see what that actual template looks like. And you can decide whether this template is going to meet your needs. Here is another one. Let's see, this has four pages. So depending on what you wanna do and um, better yet, what your audience needs, what your audience needs might be an ebook instead of a guide, or you may want to search for something like a handbook. So maybe a handbook format might work better for your audience. And you also have to think about the fact that we all learn in different ways. So there may be people in your audience who would do better with an ebook. There may be some people who would do better with a printable ebook. Others may want to order a hard copy. So you may want to make that option available to your audience. Uh, and then some people may just want a one page um, infographic or a one page guide. You know, some people may want to, um, so like for example, with my equipment guide, um, some people would do better with just this one page. So they can look at the, the images and click on those images and get more information, right? You can also make your guide interactive. So this guide can be downloaded. You can download it in PDF format. And when you click on these images, they're going to take you to these actual products. So that way you can get more information on um, these products and then also kind of browse for similar products. If you don't want to use uh, the products that I link to, you can browse around for similar products. And so there are lots of things that you can do with guides, whether you use the guide format, the handbook format, or the ebook format. These are excellent ways for you to create content for your audience and give them something that they can um, use to get results. So I'm gonna go ahead and close out of this video. I'm gonna do another video that shows you the behind the scenes look. We're gonna take a behind the scenes look at putting together a guide that you can um, give your ideal customers. So thanks for watching and I will see you on the next video.